Hi guys, I'm going to make this super quick because right now I'm working on a couple of other videos with more mind-blowing facts for you. But I've seen a few out there looking at June 22nd and even talking about 10 lost days. So I just wanted to put this out for anyone interested. This is the current Hebrew calendar showing that June 12th of 2024 was the day the Jews observed their Shavuot, or Feast of Weeks, this year. In the book of Acts, Shavuot, that we know as Pentecost, would have been the day that the Jews would have all been gathered in Jerusalem for their appointed feast day. So I think most people believe that this was the day that the scene in Acts chapter 2 happened, on the morning of day 50, of counting the Omer. And the word Pentecost means the 50 count. And I see rapture watchers looking at June 22nd this year and talking about a 10 day difference. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm overlaying here the official calendar for the year 30 AD. Shavuot that year was on May 28th on our calendars that we can look at in Stellarium. And really, it's just a day count. So whatever day you want to call it, it's a simple day count to May 28th that year. And this is what that day looked like in Stellarium. The time of day doesn't really make much of a difference here when it comes to where the sun was. I see I have mid-afternoon in these captures, but in the book of Acts, it was actually mid-morning, between sunrise and high noon. And this is where the sun was on God's clock that very day. It is the star date, or where our star was on God's clock during Acts chapter 2. If we look at our current times, we can see that June 22nd is that star date. This is where our star is each year on June 22nd, on God's clock in the heavens. As you can see, these star dates are a match. And perhaps this is the 10 lost days that people are talking about. Since the Jews celebrated Shavuot on June 12th this year, and the star date of the original Pentecost day is a match to June 22nd, 10 days later, and only one week away right now. I don't know if June 22nd is the day of the rapture. I do see a lot of other things shaping up right now. One thing I know for 100% certain, and that is that the verse number in Revelation of vial number 7 getting poured out is the number of phi. Verse number 1618, God's divine number and the secrets to the universe is 1.618. There are several places in Revelation where John does leave us a sort of code and a trail of breadcrumbs that exactly points to this verse and vial number seven. And for now, I think I'll just leave it at that and get back to work on my next two videos because we are in fact living in Revelation chapter 16 right now and I feel things are getting super serious. If you know anything about my channel here, the seventh vial was filled during the last eclipse on April 8th, 777 days to fill all seven vials the last six being filled during the 40 days leading up to the final eclipse. And the seven thunders actually happened on Friday of June 18th last year in 2023, which was a huge year for Revelation. 618 is known as Friday because it is a reflection of God's divine number of 1.618. But John was told to keep what the seven thunders had to say quiet. There were some major events that happened on Friday last year. 
and they in fact happened in the deepest of silence. One was the total implosion of the Titan on the way to the grave, exactly 111 years since the Titanic sunk. And 111 days later, the war in Israel began. Another incident on Friday last year was the Schumann Resonance Anomaly that Eric Reichman's channel alerted me to. This was an impossible anomaly, the way it appeared on the graph. The Schumann Resonance is also known as the heartbeat of the planet, and it is a sort of graph of lightning strikes around the world. In a way, the echoes of silent thunders. But when all that happened, there were still a lot of things that needed to be fulfilled. We still had two more eclipses and the filling of the seven vials of God's wrath. And all of that is over now. We are in Revelation chapter 16, and I'm very focused on Friday right now, as it is the very verse of the number Phi, Revelation 16:18. June 18th is on Tuesday, and I'm expecting something big to pop off on Tuesday. For those keeping up with my channel here, we know that 618 is also the day Jonah was spit out onto dry land and given a second chance. And of course, there's the whole tie-in of the prophecy of the last pope. And his real birthday right now is exactly 182 days or six months from this 618 date. And he was installed on 31313. The Last Supper was on day 13 too. Both of the Revelation 7 and 15 signs occurred on the 313 days no matter if you are using the Gregorian calendar or the Hebrew calendar for those years. And Strong's word number 313 means born again, only used by Peter in 1 Peter 1, 3 and 1, 2, 3. And perhaps the biggest deal of all is that John the Baptist was born on 313. And also, we are told that the planet Uranus was discovered on 313, a planet named Heaven in Greek, used 268 times in the New Testament. And maybe some have already realized this, but John the Baptist's very first day on Earth was the day we know as Pi Day, another of God's divine numbers. 3.14 or 3.14 as day one for John the Baptist. I'll be going over this more in my next video to show what God has set for us in the heavens about John the Baptist and those living waters that only John talked about, just as he told us about the living word of God.